Previously on the quarry. Oh yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and you know, nowadays. Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day of camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Awesome. Technology giveth and it taketh. So it is. Dragon Souls here. Welcome back to the quarry. You know, that kind of sounds like my ex-girlfriend's name. Is, is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJ or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Um... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit, by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, um, let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's, that makes a lot of sense. That's why Nurse Kelly went home early. Whoever that is, that wolf is that, and a werewolf is coming at him. Just look like it's stalking him. Oh, 
Yeah, give me a minute. All good. All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's... Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. D don't think it'll help. Uh, how do you know uh, all this stuff? How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. To, like climbing. Sign me up, Teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. That's my. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two way radio, so, um,. You know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, w uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS. Uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. Yeah, I do good? Is that? Swarm of bears? <laughs> yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears, but. Oh, God. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to 
Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Hold on. They might have, they might not, uh, they might not mean us. They totally mean, uh, they totally, uh, th that's, uh, that's totally us. Holy shit, they're talking about us. How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. I know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... I, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get into the... Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Uh... Well, we gotta do something, come on. Uh, anything we can do, we gotta kill it. Okay, is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, it, I mean, if it, if it has hearing, like a dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it, and, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Um... Do it. We gotta kill it. We gotta kill it. It's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Feedback thing. Take it, uh, 
Take your breath. Uh, take your breath. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Right. There's something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh shit! It's attacking the cabins. Oh crap! It knocked out the wire. Okay, uh, fix it. I'll cover you. Oh, ow, my ear. Is it safe? I don't know. We're okay. Uh, we're okay for now. I don't know. I don't know. That thing's gone. But you heard those hunter guys on the radio. What? Picked up their walkie signal. They knew we were here. Fuck! You get a message out. I'm not sure anyone heard it. Great. What the hell is going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then they would have sensitive hearing, so... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> oh shit! like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. No cards means no reading. Simple as that. Keep looking, though. There are still cards to find somewhere out there. <laughs> we spend so much time looking toward the future. 
it's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Creepy! <laughs> Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this thing sucks ass. Emma, is that you? Well, that bodes ill. Jesus Christ! <sighs> Start. <laughs> you scared me. I'm glad you. I'm glad to see you. Am I? Am I glad to see you? Oh my God! No way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> Going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some like bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like. What? It was like what, Emma? Like out of a horror movie. Okay, um, well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You know, Jacob, 
You don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Shit, sorry. Hey, I'm trying to keep and keep us alive. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? You're right. Okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously? I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really? <sighs> I don't know what to do. Pull open and pull free. Pray and pray open. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Are uh, you okay? Should we do something? You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good.
You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. What do you... Taste you. Hey. Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off. Ugh, watch out. I said get off. Get him in the pool house. Dry him off. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? Easy, man. I mean, like, photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling the cops are not gonna want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? So different, like 12 hours ago. I wonder where Caleb is. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Oh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <laughs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Hey, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just get wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Ask you something. 
Of course. You like me? Come, listen. I I really like. I really enjoy spending time with you. I don't know what you're uh, what you're going with on going on with this with, with you. Nick, please just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such, oh, such, such, what? I do like you. You're different. Nick, I do like you. No, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God. Sure, man. Be gone. What? You're really very smart, aren't you? Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... <gasps> <sighs> okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge.
is watching her. I don't know what my neighbors are cooking, but man, it smells so damn good. Before Tom is doing fast, that's it. Doesn't feel safe. Abby? Killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. I don't think I don't get it. I I just don't get it. You did what you did. You did what you had what you had to do. Had to. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't. I don't know that for sure. I do. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who, uh, who is it? Go away. Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe. 
safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yeah? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? You and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. I'm gonna open the door. I don't trust her. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. Slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Did you look hard enough? <laughs> These cards aren't just trinkets. You should know this by now. They they can help you. I can help you. Off you go then. Top top. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting? You can take those cards and show them up your way and So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Name. Some... A shit. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brinley. He's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works.
I'm not saying uh, shit. Fine. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Ah. Uh, why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm. Annoyed. That sheriff's badge doesn't mean, mean, a, mean a lot. Okay, Sheriff. Okay, Sheriff. Hackett. Wait. Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade-A double prime go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit young lady and your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say do you understand I'm angry please stop trying to suddenly me stop fucking around trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs> hey! Hey! You! Asshole! Want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Screaming isn't going to help. Max, are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm. I'm kind of all mixed up, but more or less intact, I think. Laura. Yeah. Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Disappointed and suspicious. I was, I was hoping you might know. He wanted me to confess. Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill, that's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and...
Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Don't need to be, uh... Don't need your permission. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? Alright, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey. Hey. Let's Get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey. Stop struggling. Hey. Leave him alone. Yeah, leave me alone, ass. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! Shit, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. The second you get out. We'll answer your questions. What's the, uh, some, to, uh, was that, what's that supposed to mean? Wait, wait, well, answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on! <laughs> hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! Son of a binky buck. Siri, uh, serious, uh, playful. How, uh, how did it go? Are you okay? Be okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. 
Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Nope. Huh. Rude. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Suspicious and uh, some, some kind of setup. He's not acting like a, uh, he's not acting like a kidnapper. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Uh... Lighting and light and light and lighten up. This isn't forever. This isn't forever. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. Uh, maybe... Uh... Maybe, uh, sorry I lied to you? I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack and hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead... There's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized bit. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like... Whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? Ryan, shut the fuck up. You were- you want answers? Brian, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, let's start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are those are just campfire stories. Like there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. It's true. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there.
I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. We're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when. I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. Alright, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Reckless, uh, cautious. We've got, we've got to escape. What if we can get on his good side? Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know, I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. Resign escape is the only way. I think we should try. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, alright, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's gotta have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, T-Money. Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way. Okay. Oh, come on, Team Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Understanding. We uh, we've been we've been awful. Really? You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? But what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get out. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let 
me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! Who was that? Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can. Tell me why you are feeling. I'm here. Don't worry, Max. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Well, I'm kind of stuck next to this big ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Max? Max? Tell me what's going on! Depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Alright everyone, well that is definitely going to be it for this live stream for right now. Thank you all so very much for watching live on stream for on the man. I am really enjoying this and I hope you are all enjoying this as well. And I'll catch you later for, uh, for the next one.
the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you! In other words. 